I met Jacqueline uh, at the high school, North Island High School. I was walking down the hall, and she looked up and smiled at me and stuff. So I said, this is my chance to go get her. And that's what I did. And we've been together ever since. She was in the military, so therefore, um, we traveled a bit, and, but we came back. I am the credit recovery uh, teacher for Northumberland High School. When a student is failing a class, they are sent to me, I get their attention, and we focus on whatever subject they have to ensure that they have at least a B average when they leave my doors. I never had a kid to fail. Never. I love it. 100%. After uh, re retiring from the military, my liver, they said that I had to get a transplant. Afterwards, they told me, say, you know, with this new liver, that your kidneys, you know, will probably go bad. Mr. Samuel had chronic kidney disease, stage four, when he was being seen by his nephrologist. At that time, he received modalities education while trying to figure out what was the best dialysis modality option for him. And he needed some flexibility in his schedule so that when he's at dialysis, he can still continue to work. And what he realized was home hemodialysis offered him that type of flexibility. I have um, seen him go through that process in center and um, he didn't do well with it. It wasn't what he wanted to do. He wanted to continue to work. So I had to um, be there to help him continue to do that. And I'm glad that we did. What I think is most important is the right patient on the right modality at the right time. And in order to get that, it takes education. For the home hemo patient, it's a little bit longer, typically around four weeks or so, where they learn about self-cannulation, how to run the machine, and then they begin with their care partner doing some of those in the facility and then going home. So now I don't want to say I'm a pro at it, but I'm quite comfortable with that process right now. The values in home dialysis include less central venous catheters, fewer hospitalizations, fewer emergency room visits, and overall better quality of life. I'm used to go, moving, doing things, and I feel as long as I keep doing that, my work helps me to stay healthy. And if this is what it takes for him to be able to continue, then it's the best decision for us. There's a lot of exciting advancements happening in kidney care, and I think value-based care just brings that up even more. All of that means our patients are gaining life back, and I'm all for it. All from the comfort of your home. All right, what do you want for dinner? Oh, surprise. Surprise you, okay.